Welcome to Your Best Interviews. My name is Eric Smith. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. I know there's a lot of places you can go to get this information, so I appreciate you spending it here with me. If this is helpful, please share with others. My goal is to help as many people as possible, and I can do that through you sharing. Today, what I want to talk to you about is follow-up and the schools of thought around follow-up after an interview. So absolutely, you want to follow up. That's a no-brainer. Following up just reinforces you as a candidate, um, especially if you're doing it in a meaningful way where you're referencing parts of the interview with the interviewer. It just it's a it's a way for positive recall on you as a candidate and attaching value to you and reinforcing that value uh, in their mind. So absolutely want to follow up. What I want to talk about is um, following up with a handwritten note as opposed to an email. My advice is always follow up through email. Um, handwritten note, in my opinion, is a bit more outdated. I know when I was the director of TA, I would get handwritten notes that would come a week after uh, a person had interviewed. And typically it was just, you know, like at that time, my brain wasn't on their interview. So the recall wasn't as strong. And most people don't get a lot of mail at work, right? And so when you get mail, like you tend to push it aside or you check it, but you're not really like, you know, real checking it real meaningfully. And so, um, for me, I think I think a handwritten note is is slow, and I think it loses value over time uh, because it's going to take a few days for that 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 mail to hit somebody's desk. Um, so my advice is always follow up through email the same day, the same day that you interview. That night, you should be sending out a thank you email to each person that you interviewed with, and if you can, throughout the interview process, you want to be making notes with each person. So that you can recall some of that uh, in in your follow up thank you email. The thank you email doesn't need to be very long. I've got some templates on my website that you can check out, but um, you want to be pretty pretty to the point. Uh, emphasize excitement around the role and that you're fit for the role, and then some recall without um, within the interview that you had uh, to attach and really strengthen somebody's positive impression of you through the interview process. Because as an interviewer, what you're doing is you go through that interview. Typically, you feel a certain way after that interview, but if you get a follow-up email that night, it just reinforces if you were like, oh, that was a good interview, and then you get a positive email with some reference to that positive interview, it just reinforces this is a candidate that we should move forward. And so the the, the way to increase your odds of moving forward in the process and, and really getting the job that you want is you want to make sure that you're doing the best practice at every step, and the follow-up is is a critical step, uh, and this is my advice on, on acing the follow-up to ensure that you're increasing your odds in every possible way to, to move forward in the process. So check out my website for some templates. Um, absolutely follow up. And if you want to follow up with a handwritten note with your email, you certainly can. Um, it's up to you, but uh, the email is the most critical, same day if possible, and reference your interview uh, to reinforce um, the interview that you had. Good luck, guys.